Now it's time to look at the examples where we'll be using loops to do a certain thing, right? So the problem that uh, I've taken over here is I just want to like uh, calculate the sum of the numbers uh, till 10, right? That's basically what the situation is. So instead of just writing down uh, like uh, each number and then adding, adding them up again and again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, I create a program with the help of loops in which I'll be calculating the sum of the numbers till 10. Why I'm using loops? Because if in future I want to uh, calculate the sum of uh, numbers till 100 as well, all what I need to do is I just need to change a particular condition where I need to put 100 instead of 10 and it will calculate the sum of uh, numbers till 100. So it's, a, it's an easy way of writing down the code uh, while using the loops and that's what we have done over here. So the number one, number one, uh, type of loop that we uh, yeah that we understood earlier was while loop and here's an example which shows that how using while loop we can uh, calculate the sum of numbers till 10. So initially what I've declared is i1 is equals to 1, sum 1 is equals to 0. In sum 1 I want to calculate the sum of all the numbers from 1 to 10. So all what I'm doing over here is so this while is less than equal to 10, right? So sum is equals to sum plus i1. So in this what will happen is this is 0 for the first time and this is 1 and now sum 1 uh, one has got a value is equals to 1 and uh, then I, i1 is plus plus that this basically means that i1 is equals to i1 plus 1. This is an increment operator. So now i1's value is 2, right? So it's 2. And when i1's value is 2, uh, it, it's again less than 10. It goes back again over here and then this sum 1 is equals to 1 and this is 2. So this is equal, so the now sum's va sum 1's value is 3 instead of 1. Similarly, it goes back again and again and again and again and at the end, uh, when it reaches the number 10, this condition returns false and when this condition returns false, it will just go out of this block and will execute this particular code, this sum 1, right? So what do you think should be the answer of uh, like, what, what should be the sum of numbers from 1 to 10? It's 55, right? Let's just, uh, we'll execute it later on because I've got another example as well. But this is how you can actually calculate the sum of numbers uh, till 10 using while loop. If you're going to see in this while loop, what I've done is the initialization is done at a different level or outside this particular block. The increment and decrement is happening inside the while loop. This is a very small code that, code that we have written down, but in the case of uh, a big code that we want to write down inside a loop, uh, this increment decrement operator is something that we might forget or we might write more than once as well. So this will generate uh, a problem into the output of the solution that we are hoping for. So that is the reason in for loops, we have all the three, uh, all of these three things in at a single place. So that's what the case is. That's why it's it's uh, much popular than while and do while loop. Anyways, so this is what it uh, this is how the how you need to write down or how you need to use a while loop in order to write down a particular code. Over here in do while loop, uh, the next again is do while loop, and it's the same problem that we are facing over here. Uh, we want to calculate the uh, sum of numbers till ten, and how we're going to do that is integer i two is equals to one, integer sum two is equals to zero. And in like in this do while uh, it's going to execute sum two is equals to sum two i two. The co the logic is exactly the same. There's no difference, but the only difference is in the syntax. So while i two is less than or equal to ten, so this i two is getting incremented again and again as soon as it enters the uh, what enters this code. So initially the value of i two was one, and uh, uh, like after executing this statement i2's value will become 2 and 2 is again less than 10 and then again it will go and it will update the value of sum 2 and then it will again increment 3 and 3 is again less than 10. So it will execute it till 10 and the sum 2 should also be 55 again, right? Because it's the same logic but with a different kind of loop and this is how you need to just write down and again while loop and do while loop are similar in this case, uh, increment decrement as well as the initialization happens separately. Uh, rather than just at a single place. So that's what the case is. Next is for loop. So as you can see in here, we have initialized the value of i3 in here. We have 
like put the condition over here itself and we have done the increment and decrement over here itself so all of the three all of these three things are happening at a single place and all what i've written down in this particular code is the actual code that i want to execute uh, which will give me the output not the code which will control the loop all the things which will control the loop are written over here only the condition the increment and decrement and the initialization as well so that's how it will work so it, it starts from zero it will go till 10 and it will just update the value of uh, this I, I think we can start it by one as well yeah it will return the same value so that's how it basically works uh, this, that's how this for loop basically works so over here we are initializing a value uh, this is a condition that needs to be satisfied and this is the increment decrement operator and this is the operation that we want to be iterated again and again until the condition states false and at the end what we are doing is we are just we are debugging the value of something after this we have got for each loop and for each loop is again used to iterate all of the elements of a list or a set and how to do that we have created a list over here which has got all the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it's just an example that i'm showcasing over here you do not actually need to create a list and then use for each loop to calculate the sum of uh, the numbers till 10 uh, i'm just using it as an example to show uh, to show you that how to actually write down uh, how to actually write down and execute a for each loop so sum 4 is equals to 0 i list has got this these elements and over here i have declared integer i4 i4 uh, colon i list so now what will happen is this i4 will uh, point to 1 initially and then this operation will happen then this i4 is going to point to 2 uh, then this operation will happen and then this i4 is gonna like go on to the element 3 and then then again this operation will happen and so on and so forth for each of the elements which are present into this particular list and at the end this sum 4 should be displayed as uh, like in the, in the debug logs uh, and it should it should again be 55 only because we are uh, just calculating the sum of all of these elements uh, this statement is like same for all of the loops that we have written down over here so I don't think it should be a problem anymore. But yeah, this is how you need to actually write down a for each loop. Now it's time to execute this. Uh, let's just go looping class dot my method. This is how I'm executing it. It's the name of the method that we've written down over here. Nothing fancy. And let's execute it and see. All the outputs should be 55 only, right? So we'll just select debug only. 55, 55, 55, 55. This is for while, this is for do while, and this is for for, and this is for for each loop. And this is exactly how we need to use all of the looping statements, whether it be while, do while, for, or for each. I hope that helps.